everybody. Welcome to Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Each week I'll talk about different tips and best practices for those caring for an aging loved one. For the month of September, our topic has been dementia support. Let's talk about self-care as a family caregiver this week. As a family caregiver, you're responsible for sporting many different hats. You might be a primary caregiver, hold power of attorney or conservatorship. You may be a handyman or a lawn maintenance worker for your loved one, all while being a family member at the same time. Sometimes becoming the primary caregiver for a loved one is voluntary, other times it's not, but regardless, it can be overwhelming for anybody that's in that position of a family caregiver. It's very important to determine what your capabilities are as a family caregiver. We're coming to the sandwich generation, which are the individuals who are caring for an aging loved one while still caring for young children that are living at home. Family caregivers often neglect their own health and well being, especially as we're moving into the sandwich generation. Taking five to 10 minutes daily to relax and calm your mind can be a game changer for many, whether that be through meditation, reading a quick chapter of a book, listening to a little bit of music, or just taking a walk by yourself. In some cases, bringing in respite care is a feasible option for families too. Everyone needs a break. Maybe you wanna be able to take some time to have a date night with your partner a couple nights a week. Maybe you want some time in the mornings to be able to manage your own needs, or you might need to get away for a long weekend just to reset. All of these are great ways to start the introduction of care in the home for your loved one. Seeking help does not mean that you failed at providing your loved one's care. Caregiving is demanding and to be the best caregiver for your family, it's important to first be a caregiver for yourself. If you have questions about securing respite care, cost, or programs to help financially, please give me a call at 860-533-9343. Again, I appreciate you as always taking the time to sit with me this week, and I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday Tips next week. Thank you.